Hey friends, Greg with the Pennywise guys. I want to show you a low cost and very effective way to control wasps and hornets around your home. I was a licensed ag pest control advisor and I have a unique perspective on how to control pests. Let me show you. Let's get started. Alright, the absolute best way to kill wasps is to keep them from going inside your home. So the first thing you need to do is you need to caulk up all the cracks and crevices with a really good adhesive caulking. It's very inexpensive at Lowe's. I'll share a link at the bottom for that. Get everything caulked up so they're not going inside the building to, the, to uh, build their nests. Inside the walls or inside the attic, it's very difficult to reach them to control them. So once you have everything, everything caulked up, instead of using a wasp spray like that spectricide there that I got at Lowe's, it's like uh, six to eight dollars a can, okay? And it doesn't last very long. Maybe one can might be able to spray two nests. And so you got about four, four dollars per nest in controlling wasp. Because once they are blocked from going inside the home, they'll start building their nests on the outside where you can reach them. And the best time to spray them is in the late evening or early morning. I like the early morning because they're very sluggish even at 8 o'clock in the morning when it's 60 degrees, they won't fly away. You can get within a feet of them to spray them and they won't move. Okay, so what I use is dish soap mixed in water. Very inexpensive way to control. The main ingredient on wasp spray that does the killing of the wasp is a petroleum distillate. It's basically an oil type substance that coats their wings and their bodies and they can't fly because the wings are coated and the bodies are coated with this petroleum distillate and they suffocate to death. There are other ingredients in there but the main ingredient is the petroleum distillate. The same thing can be accomplished by using dish soap. I use a half a bottle of that dish soap per gallon of water, shake it up and you've got a really good spray to coat their wings so they can't fly and coat their bodies so they can't breathe. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that how that works in a little bit here. I get uh, this uh, Ajax. I get at Walmart for about two eighty nine per bottle. It's the uh, twenty six ounce bottle. You can get the same size bottle at the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty five. It's an off brand, but it works great. So you can use a spray bottle. Um, that it's a one quart size spray bottle. I like to use. I just put one quarter soap and three quarters water in this uh, handheld spray bottle. If you can get up on a ladder, you can get within inches of those wasps in the early morning. They won't fly at you. And then you can use the bottle to spray them. Or if you'd rather not use a ladder, you can use a two, one or two gallon handheld sprayer and go one half bottle of soap per gallon of water or use a 22 gallon spray rig or something like this that's uh, got a pump and these will shoot up to 20 feet distance so you don't have to stand on a ladder. This one here, that handheld sprayer would spray roughly 12 or 15 feet. This is the quart spray bottle that I mix up and I use. Uh, just the uh, nozzle at the end to where it's not a stream but a semi mist pattern. Not a fine mist, but a heavy mist. And that works the best. Okay, and so if you use a ladder and can reach these wasps using a spray bottle to spray them, you can get within a few inches of them. They're not going to fly at you because they're resting. They're, they're real sluggish. You can see all the cracks that are on this house. Those gaps is where the wasps get into the cavities inside the walls. Uh, I had found some going in at that spot there. I went ahead and put some caulking in and they moved on to that there. A wasp can get through a hole that's an eighth inch diameter. So get it all cocked up and uh, that'll trap some inside the walls. They will die because they can't escape. Once you have everything caulked up and they start grouping together and nesting on the outside, you can control them even before they even build their nests. What they do is they fly around and at night they group together in large groups 
or even smaller groups uh, and they've paired up and they're ready to start building their nests but they're real sluggish in the morning so they're grouped together you can get very close and you can spray them so let me show you how that works here are a few wasps that are resting right now in the cool of the morning this is the time to get them so we'll take this soap solution that I showed you and we're gonna go ahead and get them real quick here they're gonna be a little more active than normal because it's about 60 degrees right now here we sorry about the camera bouncing around but I'm coating them right now they're all been coated and they're gonna start to drop because the soap is makes it to where it coats the wings they can't fly and then as you can see here they will die because the soap suffocates them they can't breathe through the uh, abdomen of their body whereas how they breathe and so they're gonna suffocate here are a few more here okay we got it all right they're dropping and there they are last one dropped okay so that's all you got to do and it's very inexpensive to uh, kill them and once you get the uh, all the holes uh, cocked up to where they can't go inside the walls now they have to start nesting on the outside and then you can easily kill them using the soapy water I pray that you are blessed and that you know him who is the author of life.